your latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. I'm Kevin Holmes with 41 Action News. Here are your headlines. More jobs lost in Kansas City. A Plaza Hotel announcing Tuesday it will not rehire more than 100 employees. Intercontinental Kansas City furloughed 114 employees in March and they hope to bring them back. However, documents show the hospital, the hotel rather, was forced to make the layoffs permanent because of COVID's financial impact to the industry. T-Mobile also announcing it's laying off 74 employees in Overland Park. But there is some relief coming for some struggling Americans. No evictions through the end of the year. The Trump administration announcing the moratorium today. It's part of the CDC's efforts to slow the spread of the coronavirus. So those eligible must show they've made efforts to seek government help and cannot pay their rent because of the impact from the coronavirus. Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas supports the moratorium decision. He tweeted, good news today. No one should be evicted from their home due to COVID-19. And after parents threatened legal action, the Blue Valley Board is clarifying its involvement in the district's recent decision to suspend extracurricular activities and implement a hybrid model for middle and high schoolers. Today, the board denied a claim it was illegally involved in the decision made during a closed meeting. A statement from the district says, in part, school administrators may, in the course of making an administrative decision, consult with any experts deemed appropriate. Gary Lezak is an expert in the weather department and has your forecast. Thank you, Kevin. Yes, and I know it's going to get down to 62 degrees by morning, then up to 84 tomorrow afternoon, 87 on Thursday, 82 Friday, the holiday weekend, 85. 87, 88 as it stands right now, and then a big change right after the holiday weekend. Look at Tuesday, dropping 22 degrees, a real fall cold front may be in the cards, and it could affect the Chiefs game just two days later. More on that in our next segment. I'm Andrew Rogers, Gary Lee Sack.